MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's Game 3 of the AL Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. Well, when you start the series on the road, obviously you'd love to sweep the first two games, but coming out of there with a split is pretty solid, too. Now they come home. They've taken back home field advantage, and we'll see if they can feed off this crowd and take control of this series. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Yanni Chirinos will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this guy lives and dies with one pitch, and that's that powerhouse sinker. Guys often relate it to like trying to hit a bowling ball. When it's good, it's usually at the knees and below, and he's really easy to figure out if he's going to be on. If in the first inning you see a steady diet of ground balls and keeping his infielders involved, there's a pretty good chance he's going to have a rock-solid game. D.J. LeMahieu is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. The 0-1 delivery. 1-1. Wow. Only the second pitch of the game tonight, and that's called a ball? This looks like it could be very good for the hitters tonight. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. Got it, got it. Got it here, the Red. Red. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. Gardner is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. Used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But of course, these days, there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this, but man, does he come to work every day and play hard. Two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. He stays alive, still two and two. Here's the pitch. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and 
All in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Full count, here it comes. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy in the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier is in his tracks now, and that will retire the side. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. James Paxton gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Boy, there's lots to like about this lefty James Paxton. Big arm from the left side. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit. The only thing, he throws about four or five miles harder than Pettit. Paxton occasionally, 97 to 98 miles an hour. Good, hard overhand curveball. His changeup is getting better the more he uses it. This is one of the game's premier left-handed strikeout pitchers. Brandon Lau is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Fastball just off the inside corner. Now the one and one pitch. Here's a swing and he loses the bat from his hands as it heads over toward the first base dugout. Looks like everyone's okay however. And he got him. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. And with that, a look at the Rays lineup card in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you better be careful when dealing with that five-hole hitter. He's got great power. I love watching a guy can take the ball to the opposite field or go to dead center field, and that's exactly who he is. BP is impressive, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him launch one in this one. Joey Wendell digs in now as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Paxton's ready. Here it is on 1 and 0. Oh. And 
And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And it misses three and one now. G-Man Choi would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three one. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. Back with more from game three after this. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Come set and the 0 1. the outside it's one and two and right into the shift and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit he had him on the ropes right there count leverage two strikes against the batter he's gonna have to put that into memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there made a nice two strike adjustment In now, Luke Voigt. And so watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. two strikes if he's able to dot that sinker down the way and execute that pitch all day you're going to see a lot of weak contact and the infield defense is going to be on its toes Sanchez on at first nobody out swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled off. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the National League Championship Series as they've got a good one brewing over there as well.
Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Wow, this is the kind of count you'd like to get your superstar hitters in, right? Three and oh. You can bet he has the green light on this pitch. In there, three and one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. One left for the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one. The 1 0 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. One away. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. First offering on its way. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Bottom of the second here with no score. Lifted in the air out to right. Judge is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Yandy Diaz. Striding forward now is the DH, Yandy Diaz. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. That one's in there on the black, 2 1. Paxton, also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots, he was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, when you come out in the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. This is line to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. We'll move to the third with no score.
Here's the first pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting up, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Dunn. One out here in the Yankees' third inning, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. Ready with the 0-1. And that misses one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Now the pitch. Two one. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Two two pitches fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. And another foul ball. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed a solo home run there for Aaron Judge his third home run of this series as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your right. lips right there. Dan right. sent it back right where it came from. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Unable to find the zone with the slider. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Three and oh now. Runner at first here, one man out. He loses him on ball four. Now batting. Digging in for his second at bat. Torres. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. 
with this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. A ball and a strike. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Into the corner and slicing foul. The 3-2 pitch. is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning so it's first and second with two men gone and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez looking to minimize the damage here drilled down the line but this is foul for the first strike This will get foul for strike two. Oh, and two. Here it is. A bouncer up the middle. Adamas picks it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. Now one nothing Yanks. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He's one for five. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. First pitch of the at bat. Reined in, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. First offering on its way. Ball. Count 1 0. Oh. The 1 0 -oh home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. There's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Brandon Lau would be next. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And he 
he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batter, number eight. Now to the plate, Brandon Lau. He was called out on strikes to open the home first. Paxton comes set. Here it comes. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1-0. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. The 1-0 home. Low, two balls and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ray's strand just the one. They still trail one nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And the pitch. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now back. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. He's set. Here's the 0-1. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this is popped up near second base. And Lau is there for the catch. There's one gone. Now batting the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Ready for another chance. Giancarlo Stanton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the belt, kicks and deals. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The one-two. Here's a chopper to first. Scooped up to second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Yankees lead this one one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. 
off there. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Strike one to start the at-bat. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Gardner. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now back. The first base D-Man Jiman Choi, the next to hit. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. Eight. Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Runners on first with one down. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Paxton comes set. Here it comes. The 1-0. Look over to first and the runner back. A runner on first with two away. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Designated hitter, Yandy Diaz. So stepping in, Yandy Diaz, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set, and the pitch. He's 
already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And it's one and two. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. We'll have more of Game 3 after this message. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. pitch coming here it is rip down the line but a foul ball here 0 and 1 lofted in the air out toward right center in there a base hit now that the right field Aaron Here's big Aaron Judge as he'll send a ground ball down to third. The second for one on to first to complete the double play. Now that's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up and that makes it real tough to square up. Back to the top of the order now, and that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch of the at-bat. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Two out, nobody on. Down and away, ball one. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, beautiful dive. Hats off to that one. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Back with more from game three after this. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, thanks, Heidi. And leading up for the red, the shortstop, really not coming. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey! Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball in. Ball two. Oh, that's Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The 3 1 is in there for a full count now. 3 and 2. Three, two 3 2 pitch.
swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now, just rearing back and letting go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-0 home. Swing and a line drive. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll pull into second with one away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Digging in, Mike Zanino reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in. Whack. Base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. Into the box now, Brendan Lau, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No hits to this point. A one pitch on its way. Nope, outside. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We'll have more of Game 3 after this message. Anthony Banda takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 53, Anthony Banda. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Swinging a soft liner. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Not particularly oh, graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Score 
Striding in, Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Count one and over. The one zero. -oh. It's a fastball that misses. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Two and one after the foul ball there. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Gary Sanchez is on deck. The three one hit down the third baseline but a foul ball and it's full now at three and two. Nobody out runner on first. Oh and they pulled the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now that the catcher. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Gary Sanchez. He's one for two in the ball game. First offering on its way. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, one and oh. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Called strike at the knees, one and one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. The 2 1 pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batting the first baseman. Stepping in, Luke Voigt. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. One one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing the strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around the score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors. And you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Two down, runners at first and second. That evens it up, one and one. One and one, the pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The set and the one two hit sharply on the ground and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. The Yankees forced to settle for one two three and four due up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead it two to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. And the pitch. The 1 0 home finds the zone, strike one. And there's ball two now. Now the 2 1 pitch. It is strike two swinging. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate, Joey Wendell. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1 and 2. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Now another 1-2. Swing and a liner. Foul. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff.
stepping in now. G-Man Choi. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Paxton's ready. Here's the one and one. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. There's a called third strike right on the inside corner. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more from game three after this. Digging in and looking for more, Gio Urshela will start the seventh in what's been a fast-moving pitcher's duel today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1-0. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. They'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. The 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. That goes Kiermaier at the track. The wall. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series. And it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot, but with the way their starter is throwing it, that could be enough to seal the deal. Aaron Judge will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. No and here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1-1. One and one. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. The second baseman, DJ Lavendi. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. A runner at first with no outs here. A 
on a rope to the second baseman. And the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting the seventh season. Brett Gordon. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. He's set. Here it comes. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit softly down the line at first. And there are two away now. The batter, the shortstop, Labor Toro. Chaz Rowe will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. From the stretch. Fouled away. Fouls this one off. Two out here and a runner at second. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. The one two is taken for ball two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's now three to one, Yanks. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. From the stretch. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against a modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Kainley is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty Dean. I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now 
not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Too high and it's three and oh. Just missed with that heater but even if he wanted to swing I don't think he could have caught up to that one. That one's in there, three and one. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. The three and one pitch. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Bases are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's one that misses high, it's 1-1. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. The one two. Yep, that ball went out. Misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Two out, nobody on. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Score holds. It's three to one. He's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 47, Oliver. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to hit is the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. 0-1 the count. Here it comes. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. 0-2 oh, count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on and he had no answer for it. At the plate now, Luke Voigt as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hey. 
Called strike 0 and 2. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0-2 misses off the plate. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. 3-1 our score. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Next count, two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Popped him up. Choi in foul ground. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now that designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Standing in, Miguel Andujar. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. First pitch on its way. And that misses inside 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 2-0 and count. Here it comes. And he's way off balance with the swing there. The 2-1 home. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Renfro is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. As the lead remains, three to one. Zach Britton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Count one and oh. The set and the 1 0 -oh pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Swung on and missed that strike two. Britton, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the third round or in the first-year player draft of 2006. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hits softly on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. 
heading to Tampa Bay. The Jets are going to hit one. Two, he goes. Now with the play, Mike Sonino singled home a run in his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0-2. One out, nobody on. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. fouled off he was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off here's another one two and now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one the bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Brandon Lau, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 1 0. 2 0. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off him. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Outside, 3 0 now. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. I Flips the corner of the zone with a sinker for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now the three and two pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Two seam fastball, sinker. He oh, stayed inside it. Didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark. It's intended to be down in the zone. And this better pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. To the plate now, Austin Meadows. As he'll ground the first pitch foul off to the right side. No hits to this point. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. They still trail it here 3-1. Enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. He's 
ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier is right there, one down. Now batting, third baseman, Gio Urshela. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. The last at bat, Nettie B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes strike two. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes, yeah. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Popped up. Choi is there for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batter, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. It was a single for him in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. Ball, two. two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. This is foul right side. The 2-1 home takes a pass and misses that strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he struck him out, so a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hang on to a three-to-one lead. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And set to go is the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Third baseman, Joey Wendell. First offering on its way. This is pulled into right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want a blooper, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if he can capitalize. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi.
Bob set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball in a strike. in two strikes now. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The one-two. Swung on and missed strike three. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. And now Hunter Renfro. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 0-1. Got him reaching there. Strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Runners on first with one down. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane. And that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down. And that appeared to be the case there. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. And it's quickly 0-2. Two. two out with the man at first. Throw over to the bag, and the runner will get back standing. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. And as a closer, a wild pitch is the last thing you want to do. His job was to finish this thing off, and he just made his job a lot more difficult. We'll see if he can get dialed in again here on the next pitch. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And 
there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason and that's exactly what this man did he's our tops player of the game yeah no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory he was certainly a big factor here and it was pretty cool to see Tonight's ball game comes to a close, three to one. The final. The New York Yankees have taken a two games to one series lead. James Paxton gets the W on the mound, so that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Rays, one run, five hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 44 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance: a sellout of 31,044.